Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to the video. This behind me ain't gonna get any better, so if it's pixelated as hell, I know. Please don't tell me. Anyway, on to the video. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to discuss some paleontology news. Something that's causing quite a stir in certain circles. Basically, you remember Tyrannosaurus Rex? My personal favorite dinosaur. Yeah, I know, I'm a basic bee. Um, has been split into three different species. The aforementioned Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Tyrannosaurus Regina, and Tyrannosaurus Imperator. I think I'm saying that incorrectly, but I tried. That's what counts. So, why have they been split? Well, a new paper suggests that these species are actually closely related from the same genus, but uh, it's been met with a lot of controversy. Maybe for good reason. According to the paper, the study took data sets from 37 different specimens, 28 of which specific to Hell Creek, which does make it a little more, you know, stuck together that these could be one species. Uh, it doesn't really give a good idea of the time scale these fossils are taken from, or whether they're all from like a similar time frame, as apparently it is very hard to get a, an accurate measurement from when these fossils uh, first arose. According to the researchers on this paper, they state that things like femus robustness or the presence of chisel-like teeth in the lower half whilst others not having them um, show more than just a variation in the age of animals or the gender. According to the study, Tyrannosaurus imperator are more of the older specimens using the famous Sioux from Chicago as an example. Uh, Tyrannosaurus regina's example is the skeleton in Washington DC's Natural History Museum and is more gracile than the more robust ones being of our classic Tyrannosaurus rex. Now previous studies have suggested that the differences in body shape, uh, femur length, just anything from dentition to the sheer size of the animal can be anything to do with the gender of the species or the uh, life stage of the animals themselves. Now, this could differ even on things like nutritional values or whatnot, and that is what the main opposition is stating against these new species. But I myself am a bit more open to the idea that they are in fact different species, and here's my personal take on it. Okay, I'm not an expert, I'm just a jack of all trades zoologist, but if you take an pair of extant species from the same genus like the Asiatic lion and Bengal tiger. Strip them down to bare skeletons and age them a few million years, it may be pretty difficult to tell them apart, yeah? But there are like pretty sizable giveaways, like the size of the animals, the canine length, or even behavioral giveaways such as being found alone or in groups. And these are two separate species as we understand it. So I believe it's perfectly possible, even likely, that these new taxa have at least some credibility. But I do hear you. Uh, Scott, they're mammals. They're so different. The reptiles and the archosaur. Okay, then let's use another archosaur, like um, uh, mugger crocodiles and saltwater crocodiles, coincidentally also living in India. These two animals at first superficially look similar, but if you get down to the nitty gritty, and you, if you're an expert in reptiles, you can easily see that salties usually dwarf mugger crocodiles, and mugger crocodiles also have broader snouts, but they are in the same genus, crocodilus, or crocodilus, however you pronounce it. I'm not the cop, so an authority on this. But they're still from the same genus, and I think that has some credibility to it. Then again, not a paleontologist, that's just my two cents on the matter. I think people are just a bit aggressive too quickly in this state of affairs. It very well could be that they are the same species. The researchers have stated that the specimen pool is far from perfect and skepticism is not without merit on their findings, but they are confident that there must be more Tyrannosaurus species out there. Now, that was just a very quick overlay of what I could gather from what I've read, but if you want to read more, I'll leave links in the descriptions, or you yourself could just Google it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I might do some more stuff like this in the future. Who knows? Maybe I'll never do it again. Maybe some of you would like that. Anyway. Thanks!